years today gave it to him but good. Four years, maximum sentence, no way out. I find that Dr. Murray abandoned his patient. Dr. Murray repeatedly lied, engaged in deceitful misconduct. He has absolutely no sense of remorse, absolutely no sense of fault, and is and remains dangerous. Wow. So that was that. The judge slamming Dr. Conrad Murray, saying he has shown no remorse, saying he is still dangerous. And tonight, we've got a night of explosive showbiz flashpoints. Is this really case closed? In session correspondent Beth Karras has been following the Conrad Murray case from the very beginning. She's with us tonight from Los Angeles. And Beth, let's take a look at Murray's reaction as he was let out of the courtroom. He appeared to be blowing a kiss, presumably it was to relatives and to his kids who were there in court as the judge really, really threw the book at him today, just slamming him with that maximum sentence of four years. So here's our show this flashpoint. Murray gets the max. Did the judge get it right? What do you think, Beth? Well, let me tell you, one half of the courtroom says he absolutely got it right, A.J. The prosecution asked for the maximum, and let's face it, for a homicide, and it's the lowest level homicide, it's not a lot of years. And, you know, who knows if he'll even do the four years, probably not even close. And I was so surprised by just how comprehensive this judge was in handing down the sentence. And one thing that really seemed to me to tick this guy off was a documentary about Murray that aired after he was found guilty but it was shot before the verdict was first read. We saw Murray telling NBC News on this documentary that he doesn't feel guilty about Jackson's death, and he even seemed to criticize the man he was on trial for killing. Watch this. I don't feel guilty because I did not do anything wrong. I do not think that he would have had an active intention to do me harm. But I think through his most intense desire to have me there with him it was interwinded with a degree of betrayal that really surprised me that he revealed that in that documentary and apparently surprised the judge too the judge directly citing those interviews as a huge reason that he's locking up dr murray watch this dr murray at that point says he feels betrayed and entrapped by michael jackson Yikes, talk about blaming the victim. Not only isn't there any remorse, there's umbrage and outrage uh, to hear Dr. Murray say it. Dr. Murray was just a bystander. Wow. Again, pulling no punches. In short, that was really, when it comes down to it, one costly interview for Dr. Murray. So here's our next show, Ms. Flashpoint. Should Murray have just kept quiet before his sentencing? What do you think about that, Beth? Well, maybe he should have. The judge cited those reasons, among others, for why he was denying probation, which is what the defense wanted. You need to own up and take some responsibility for what you were convicted of, and you need to show some remorse, the judge said, if you expect probation. So those were among the reasons he gave for saying, nope, you're a jail candidate. Going on national television and saying you're not remorseful. I mean, that was unbelievable to me. And as we've seen all along in HLM's extensive live coverage of the Conrad Murray trial, Michael Jackson's fans, of course, had been a major presence at the trial. Show this tonight's Kareem Winter was right outside the courthouse this afternoon and saw firsthand the reaction to today's sentence. Watch what happened. <laughs> tell you the atmosphere out here outside the Los Angeles County Courthouse. It's a lot more controlled, a lot more subdued than the day that big verdict came in. But I can still tell you so many of Michael Jackson's fans still passionate about this case that's now come to a close. Fans like gold. And now we remember on the day of the verdict, you had a hard time. You were so overcome with emotions, yes. you fainted. Yes. You're still standing today, so that's good news. Yes, it is. I fainted on the day of the verdict. I was overwhelmed. I was you know, I really went crazy because I was so scared that he wasn't going to be convicted. Um, I fainted that day, but I made sure that I promised everybody I wouldn't faint today. He needs to serve the four years. We can never bring Michael Jackson back, but at least we can feel a little bit, just a little bit of justice is done. And, you know, I, I 
I'd really be glad. I hate to say it when they put him into regular population as opposed to giving him special treatment and services at the prison that he doesn't need. Thank you so much, Golden Girl, one of the many fans who've been out here since yes. day one, since Four this years. whole trial began. This case has now come to a close, and many fans are also hoping that now the beloved entertainer, AJ, can finally rest comfortably in peace. Fans glad that justice was served. Show us a nice green winter there. And Beth Karras, I thank you very much. I want to go now to Rabbi Shmuley Botea, who was once one of Michael Jackson's closest and personal friends, also a spiritual advisor.